Hi, everyone. Welcome to virtual camp for today. It's Friday. Uh, I have no idea what the actual date is. April something. April 3rd. <laughs> I, I can't keep track. I'm glad I know it's Friday. Uh, welcome. We have some cool things with Carrie doing some crafts today. So it is craft time with Carrie. So we're going to head over and check that out and we'll see how this works. So let's make sure I get everything. Here we go. All right, Carrie, you have to hit start video. I don't have a start video. Okay. Welcome, guys. It's craft time with Carrie. Ding. All right, today we are going to make these 3D hands. All right, yes, this is my hand. Okay. Um, and I've kind of demonstrated two different techniques. Um, but first, we're going to go over some supplies if you're doing this with me right now. Otherwise, you can go back and watch it later and do it as well. You're going to need some paper, okay? It can be cardstock, it can be flimsy paper, whatever you have. This was um, stuff that we just had sitting around, okay? Whatever you have available to you. You'll need either some markers, Crayola markers are great, or I just happen to have Sharpies. Uh, you can do it one color, or you can do several colors as well. So it's just up to you what you want to use, okay? So I have those available. And then you will need a ruler. This is not necessarily needed per se. This one that I did here, I did not use a ruler and it still turned out okay, but you can tell it's a little crooked. Um, so I tried some later ones. This is an example here that I tried with a ruler and I thought that it turned out way better. So we're gonna try it with the ruler. If you don't have one, that's fine. Or if you have two pieces of paper, then you can use that second piece of paper as a type of ruler for you, okay? So I will give you a second to get all of that together. And then we will start. The colors I used for this one were like pink and red, orange, yellow, and green, and purple. You can kind of tell here, I had two different size of markers. I had some colors that were the fat marker, and then some were those skinny markers as well. So if you use the skinny markers, obviously you aren't going to get as much color as you go across. So you can kind of tell the difference on the ones that I used when I did do the skinnier markers. I think if I would do this one again, I would use all the same sized marker. So if you have all skinny markers or all sized, you know, the fatter markers, I would use all the same size. These Sharpies are going to be all the same size as well. So they should come out pretty even. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I forgot a very important supply. You're going to need a pencil because we're going to trace our hand. So grab that quickly if you have a pencil ready. Okay, and you're going to set down whatever hand you don't write with, which makes sense because you're gonna be tracing your own hand, okay? So I am right-handed. I'm going to set down my left hand on the paper and then I'm going to lightly trace it with the pencil, okay? If you want more of the, your wrist in there, you can. I like a little bit, so my hand is pretty much in the center of the paper. So I'm going to lightly trace my hand, okay, with the pencil. If you have any rings or anything on your finger, make sure you take those off or you'll have a weird bulge on your finger, okay? So you're gonna trace around all of your fingers and then your wrist off the paper. So you can barely see mine there on the camera unless I hold it up here. It'll come to you, here you go, okay? Um, so I wrote pretty light there. We don't want to actually see those lines, but we need something we can see in order to make our hand, okay? So, what you're going to do next, I like to turn my paper sideways. And you're gonna start at the bottom here, which would be where your wrist is on the paper. You're gonna grab your ruler and about, I don't know, a millimeter from the bottom of the paper, you are going to make a line with your first color. Now, anytime that you come to a pencil line, you are not going to draw through it. Okay, so you're gonna actually skip the part that has a pencil line on the inside as well, and then continue on the other side. So if you look at this, I did this in yellow, okay? So this is where my wrist is, and I did my yellow line, I skipped it, and then did the other side. Now, you can do this one of two ways. To get the bubbled effect of like this one, that it looks 3D. We're gonna have to make an arc from one side of the line here, to the other one. I've tried this two ways, and I feel like it's more consistent if you make the lines first 
and then go back once all of your lines on the outside are done and then you make the arch all together so that they're more consistent. On this one, I tried it, on this one here, I tried it as I went and the further I went up my hand, the more out of whack my arches went. So we're gonna leave that yellow line for right now. It would probably be a good idea if you left your markers uncapped for right now and we're just gonna work through the color order that you have selected. So I'm gonna leave my yellow one uncapped but put it at the end of my line here. I'm gonna take my green, do the same thing for the next line. I move about a millimeter away. All right, I go until I hit that pencil line. I skip over where my wrist would be and I make my line on the other side. I'm gonna keep moving my ruler about a millimeter away. Remember if you have a thick ruler too or you have a thick tipped marker that you need to move your ruler just a little further away so the line is actually about a millimeter away and not the ruler. Um, sometimes you'll get a little too close, which is fine too. You can do two lines in that area or whatever you would like. If you, the first one you made a little too far away, that's fine too, you can make that into a pattern. I did that with this heart here. I made one line and I didn't like how far apart they were. So I went back and put in two lines or three lines in between to kind of make this shape here. Okay, so continue on with your pattern, skipping this part where your hand would be. Keep moving your ruler up. I like how these colors turned out. This takes a little bit of patience or time to kind of get this as we work up our hand here. Um, if you have any questions as we're going, or I've moved too fast at the beginning, um, I cannot see the chat today, but Chris can. So go ahead and if you have any questions, you can post them in the chat and he will relay those messages to me but don't think that I'm ignoring you because I can't see them today the way that we have our computer set up. So, and let us know if you can both see me, me here, and the paper as I'm drawing, okay? We tried a new setup that we think that we like, but if you can't see both things at the same time, then it doesn't really work. So let us know in the chat, um, Chris is on there, and let him know if you can see both me and him, and if you have any questions as we go. My ruler made a, I used a black marker on this beforehand and it still had apparently some black on there. So my yellow turned out black, but that's okay. I did notice I'm going a little crooked. So I'm trying to correct that slowly as I'm going. My eyeballs are crooked too, so that doesn't help, all right, but. I'm just keep moving this up. We'll get to the fun part here in a minute. You can really do this with any shape. You can see I did mess up on this heart a little bit here that I'm showing you. I, my hand got away from me when I was making the arches, but did it with a heart. I'm not too fond of this star shape, but it turned out okay. This is the first one I did with the ruler and I really like the lines around it. So that's what kind of convinced me to use the ruler, okay? So you can do it really with any shape. I think anything that has like a curved edge seems to turn out better. Like our hand has lots of curves on it and the heart turned out pretty well as well. But you could try this with anything and see how you like it. Okay. So just in case, while I'm just drawing these lines, you just hopped on, you need a piece of paper and you, okay, that's fine. You just keep drawing these lines. You traced your hand. Okay, all right. Keep going with those lines. If you aren't doing this right now, 
and you're just watching and you're going to come back and do it later. You can totally fast forward this part. Um, I'm got, I've gotten to a tricky part, okay, and I actually missed some of it. In my thumb here, my thumb is lower than all the rest of my fingers. I'll zoom this up here. I made this green line. I'll put it here. But there's also a space in between my thumb and the rest of my hand. The, I don't have enough hands. Okay, here. Right here. Okay, I'll zoom in a little more. That I need to make a green line and probably even this yellow line right here I need to go back and make and line up. So don't forget as we're getting into the fingers that we need to make those spaces in between straight with the rest of them. So I'm going to go back and do that. Okay, with my ruler. That space in between. I'm going to go back with this yellow right here. I think the blue would go a little too low, but I will try it. It has just enough space. Perfect. Okay. So I'll make just a little mark there. And then from now on, I'm going to have to look for spaces here. I missed it here as well. I think this is, yep, this is the right color. I got my markers all out of order here and I missed a teal one. Hot mess now. I don't know what's going on. Here we go. All right. All right. So we have the space in between. All right. Now I get to the tip of my thumb here. Okay. I'm still going to space this out. I'm not going to put a mark there. Okay. I'm going to go on the other side. Now I have just a little bit in between these fingers of what I traced. So this is like the start. And I noticed I'm doing really well. I missed some more. Okay. On this other side where my pinky is. So this is where it gets really tricky. Once we have all these lines done, it is pretty simple to go back and we're gonna make some arches, okay? And make the actual 3D look. So this is probably the part that takes the most time, some concentration to make all these lines. Obviously, I missed some, okay? And you can kind of see it, it has a cool effect, even if you wouldn't go back and make it the 3D look, just that you've outlined your hand kind of like this. I kind of like um, how this is looking already, all right? I'm gonna keep making my lines here. Just wrote on that for hand. All right. Sure. While I'm continuing to make these lines forever until we get to the top of the paper, Chris is going to make some announcements, okay? There are, um, there is no Devo today, but he is going to make some announcements. So he's going to mute me. I'm going to keep drawing the lines and then um, he'll come back to me in just a moment. Take it on. All right. Well, let me see. Make sure I pin my video. Perfect. So... <laughs> Sorry, it is, it's been a crazy day here at camp. We have been going lots of new stuff. We're working on getting things going. And so some things just, we just didn't get some things done, but a couple announcements for upcoming stuff. Uh, next week on virtual camp, we are, I know Monday we're gonna be in the escape room and we're gonna be doing a live interactive escape room. And so if you join us for that, you will need, um, you don't really have to have a webcam, but you do need uh, some kind of audio and microphone and stuff because as you see me, you're gonna tell me what to do. And so you're gonna see kind of how I'm going through the escape room and you're gonna tell me what I need to accomplish or what I need to do while I'm going through all that. And so you will need some kind of audio to be on there for that as well. So make sure you get permission from your parents to be a part of that. <clears throat> Also, starting next week, we are excited. Um, we have several of our staff, and I see Songbird is on here right now, um, but she's got a really cool video on how to make uh, some uh, bandana bracelets that are really awesome. And so I think, I can't remember, I think it's Monday or Tuesday, I have to look. Um, but that will be up on the website tonight to show you what's coming up next week. And so we're excited for that. I know also next week we've already, um, we're going to start devotions. So we're going to have morning and evening devotions from our staff and counselors. And so they will be um, sharing those and, and several of those have already gotten videoed. I know Kit Kat and Bumble and um, Rango and Poe, lots of lots of them have already given me these announcements, and so those are those devos. I mean, and so they will be, uh, we'll be showing those starting next week. We're excited about that, um, as well. I wanted to give you guys a heads up. We have not done our iSpy yet for today. I'm going to be doing that here in just a second. 
uh, go out and take a picture of our little hedgehog guy and where he's located. Um, I'm going to make it hard today. I thought I thought I had it hard the last couple of days, but everyone has been answering so fast that I, apparently I got to do a better job. And so we're going to really make it difficult today. And so I, I'm going to go out and find a really difficult spot to pick out here at camp and see if you can guess it. Um, but we are sending um, those of the, that guess. So if you haven't been on, uh, if your parents are on Facebook or Instagram um, or Twitter, you can get on and guess through there. Um, but we are, we're actually sending out uh, stickers, little camp stickers, um, little hedgehog stickers for the winners of that who get that correct. So check that out and do that. Also starting next week, we will have our coloring contest and it will be one a week. You'll have a whole week to color this picture and make it amazing and then send it to us to win a cool prize out of our camp store um, and things like that. And so lots of new big exciting things coming next week. Um, I know today we've been working on the deck for the giant swing and getting that completed. And so hopefully next week we will have one of our virtual camps will actually be a live ride of the giant swing. And you'll get a chance to see how that goes and how all that works. It is awesome. It's so much fun. And so we that a lot of, a lot of new big things coming out next week that we are excited for. Um, as well, if you were part of Trivia Night last night, you saw how much fun that was. We're hoping to do another one of those maybe this next month. Um, and, and still, we are still planning on camp. So if you have not signed up for camp, please sign up. And we are still looking for staff members. So if you know some people, got some friends, um, maybe some people you've been Zooming with recently, please send them our way. We are still looking for staff. And, they, and obviously, we're still looking for campers to come out and register to come to camp. And so we would love to see you all this summer. All right, we're gonna head back over to Carrie and see how she's doing. Okay, I'm hoping you can hear me. Okay, I have started. I got all of my lines all the way up the paper. Okay, and then what I have done, I still have my markers in order. So I will, I'm gonna try to do this up the camera. I will start over here on this one side and I'm gonna make an arch all the way to the other side of that color. So I'm going to go like this and connect those, okay? Then I will do that with the next color. And you'll notice it's not a great big huge arc, okay? Because we do need to have the next color fit as well in that space. So if we made it too big, it wouldn't fit for the next color. I did that a little bit um, on this one here. I just got a little heavy handed with my arcing and it just takes away from the 3D effect. You can kind of see here in the wrist and the lower part of my hand that you can kind of see that it's already 3D and it's looking pretty cool. I am gonna continue on doing this. I know that you guys love watching me draw. So until we get to these fingers because the fingers are where it gets a little tricky. Okay, this one, I'll just have that thumb. So I had that little space in between the thumb here. I'll let it catch up, okay? And I'm gonna stop there, and then I'm gonna make another arc here to connect that, okay? And then I'm gonna continue on. This is my dark blue. I'm gonna make that arc. I apparently didn't make one here, right here. And make an arc here. It gives more depth to the fingers rather than just going across. I'm gonna meet that yellow here and make an arc there. Now, the green here is a little tricky because we have at least three arcs to make, okay? So there's one there for my pinky. I'm gonna make a big arc here to connect the green. I'm gonna go here and then connect this one. Now I'm gonna do the teal color I have. A big arc here. Okay, now I have my dark blue. I gotta make this arc, okay, and then make this one. And then my yellow, I'll actually have all five fingers. I see that I missed a color over here, so we'll fill that in. And this is gonna really give that 3D effect to those fingers, okay? Now my thumb is done, it's great. So now I just have the four fingers. Okay, and I will just continue on with this. My little pinky is gonna 
be done here in just a minute, okay, with this blue one. And I tried to work it out so that the arc of this blue one would be the tip of my finger. So it does have that outline. And the same with my thumb. So if you haven't already done that, kind of planned accordingly, sorry that I that as we're making our lines, that way it gives it that outline. Um, there were a couple of them on the previous one that I did that I didn't do that. And then it didn't look right. Just have a few more lines to go. And again, if I'm moving too fast for you, this will be recorded and you can stop it. Obviously, it took me several tries to <laughs> um, get them the way that I wanted them. And there are a few different techniques as well. All right, so I have my hand pretty much complete. I like how evenly spaced my colors are, but you will also see, if you wanted to try another one, this I used the flat side of my marker and did that. And again, I didn't do it with a ruler. You probably could as well, it might be harder to get in there, but this will give it a different effect as well. This is the more evenly spaced. This is every color is filled in. Okay, so I like this. This is what we just created. It definitely looks like my hand is sitting there. There's a little one I could have maybe arched a little better here to kind of give it that shape. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy with it. So I hope you have enjoyed this. And then I hope you also try different shapes. All right, you can see mine aren't perfect here, but I like the effect that it gives. And I'm sure that I will try several different shapes just to see how they turn out as well. So if you have any questions, please let us know and be sure to tune in next week for all of our exciting activities and we look forward to seeing you. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us here on Virtual Camp. We hope to see you next time.